Ew. Yucky. It feels so gross. Hello, welcome to Moose Mischief's YouTube channel, where we have a fantastic time creating art, making crafts, and conducting science experiments. Today I will show you how to make a slime forest like this one and teach you how to identify moose and beaver tracks in the wild. When you're walking through the wilderness, you might not see any animals, but you could come across their tracks. Animals sometimes leave footprints, especially when it's muddy or snowy. You'll most likely find moose prints in forests and meadows where the ground is soft. Their tracks are heart-shaped and measure five to seven inches. You'll likely find beaver prints near a river or lake. Beaver's front feet resemble small human hands and are about three inches long, and their rear feet are about seven inches long. They have five toes on all four feet, but they also have webbing between their toes on their hind feet. Plus, beavers have claws. Okay, now that you know how to identify moose and beaver tracks in the wild, Let's make slime and create our own tracks. Here's what you need. One fourth cup water, a full bottle of clear school glue, green and yellow paint, a spoon, glitter, one cup of liquid starch, a bowl. You want a tray for your slime when you're done so you can play with it, and plastic toys. I have a moose and a beaver, but you could use any forest animals that you would like. And for fun, you can look up what their tracks look like online. Okay, let's make some slime. Slime! Ah! First, we pour the water into the bowl. Then, we pour the entire bottle of school glue into the bowl. Now, we're gonna stir the glue and the water together until it's nice and smooth. Stir, stir, stir. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, I'm gonna add green and yellow paint. But I'm gonna put more green in because I want my forest to be super green. If you add more yellow, your green will get lighter. So it depends on what kind of color you want. But I want my forest to be darker green. So I didn't add much yellow. All right, so let's make our forest sparkle. Pop a bunch of green glitter in here. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's stir it together. It's looking sparkly. Now it's time to put in our starch. We're only gonna put in a little bit at a time so you can get it to the right consistency. Look, it's getting slimy. Ugh. Ugh, gross. Yeah. I'm gonna add some more starch in there. Let's see if that, that does the trick. Oh yeah, that looks like green snot. Oh, it's so gross and slimy, ew! All right, so shall we turn our slime into the forest? Okay, so now I'm gonna smooth out my slime on the tray here to make my slime forest. Oh, yep, it looks very slimy. All right, let's add a tree to our forest because all forests have trees. Then we'll put in the moose. There he is. And we'll add our beaver. Now you can play for hours with your little animals inside your forest. And look at the tracks that they make. Pretty neat. Look at all those animal tracks. Hello, Mr. Moose. Hello, Mr. Beaver. What a lovely day for a walk in the forest. And look at all the tracks we made so all the children can find us and where we went. I had so much fun making slime with you. If you had fun too, like the video below, share it with a friend, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. To learn more about Moose Mischief, please visit my website, moosemischief.com. I have t-shirts and sweatshirts for sale featuring my characters, Cooper and the Moose. I'm also selling my book, Moose Mischief, A Pancake Surprise. In the book, the moose claims he's the best chef in Alaska, but is that just silly? Buy the book to find out. 